Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Navarre campaign for 1212 AD and in the last part we did take Cordoba from the Almohad Caliphate and now they are split into in their realms in Spain they are now hold Granada and Badajoz which is soon to fall you can see that uh, Portugal and Castile are going to be destroying it very soon you imagine Looks like, uh, yeah, their garrison won't hold out much longer. So you imagine Portugal will, ma will take that. So we will move south to take Granada in this episode before setting our eyes towards Seville. And obviously we're going to try and make peace with uh, with the Almohads. I may take Fez. I doubt I will. Um, but I if I can't get peace with them, I will probably put an arm here in Granada and then just carry on uh, expanding north. Hopefully soon I was gonna, I'm just looking at like our Imperium. Um, we will soon move up into like noteworthy so we can have larger armies and um, and yeah that'll be really good because obviously that gives us plus three public order as well it gives us a minus diplomatic penalty but that's fine we can deal with that um, but yeah that is it that is the hope and uh, that we can deal with what are Port Portugal are allied with Granada that's okay so they're not allied with anyone important to me um, but yeah we are looking pretty good on like generally everyone seems to like us uh, even though, like, France As requested. are at uh, war with uh, England. Uh, actually, yeah, they are still at war with England. Um, they still like us and are improving, like, quite a lot. Um, England do like us a massive amount, yeah. And Holy Roman Empire, which is actually uh, now Milan, uh, kind of like us. in deteriorating a little bit, I think, because we're allied with... Uh, with um, As Aragon. I give it. But yes, it seems like no one else will really make any deals with us. So that's fine. I don't really need any more deals with people. I could do with getting a, a, a link um, to uh, from my capital to the rest of these lands so I can get trade. Also, we have a bit of sanitation issue as well. I'm going to be sorting that out. Mercy has dealt with its sanitation issue. That is brilliant. Uh, hopefully, when the next growth comes through, I can put some sanitation in there. Uh, Palma, we are sorting out a plaza here. So that's good. We'll push. That should uh, hopefully go... Uh, positive next turn if not then it'll be the turn after like not the turn after but like when the next upgrade comes in for it there but anyway we're gonna end the turn i think oh we need a provincial governor in cordoba okay it's gonna cost a bit from cultural buildings or a warrior i'm definitely gonna go with luis he can uh be married in or not married he can uh, take over the governorship here and then we can put an edict in and i'll put in i'll put in trade and growth for now and uh, yeah, I think that's where we'll end the turn. There we go. But if you're enjoying seeing this campaign, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. Always do appreciate I it. I don't appreciate being Would asked to join wars against France, though. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'd just like to thank you guys so much for all the support on this, uh, this campaign. Keep it up. Like, the support has been amazing. And uh, yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this campaign. I certainly am enjoying it. And uh, we're about, I'd say we're nearly about halfway. Once we've taken, like, maybe Granada, I'd say we're about halfway through. Um, because um, Provence want peace. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't really need to be at war with them. I know that won't help, uh, like, my allies. They don't like appreciate that. But I wasn't going to help them anyway. Uh, we've got a new Pope, Gregorius the... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the ninth. There we go, Gregorius the ninth. There we go. Um, but yeah, I wasn't going to help him them anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter that I made peace with them. But uh, yeah, so there we go. The turn is over. I'm going to put in some... I thought I was putting sanitation in here somewhere. I thought one of these did sanitation. Oh, it's that one, Leprosium there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that in uh, just to sort out like issues with sanitation. That's just generally a good idea. And then Palma also can upgrade. It could have a Spirits Maker. It does put up the Squalor, but it does bring in a lot more money in industry and public order. Which I'm quite happy to do. I'll put, like, number that one can be Sanitation. Can sort out my issues with Sanitation there. Um, but yeah, that's always good. Pamplona looks amazing. Looks very happy with itself. Uh, and then next turn, I can put in a Leprosium up here as well to sort out any Sanitation issues here. You imagine or i could just go with i don't know how bad is sanitation it's currently it's minus three yeah we'll sort out the sanitation in this part of the world um cordoba can't recruit anything that's perfectly fine they are still not able to recruit anything oh, i can recruit stuff in uh, valencia sorry i just they've not got rid of their disease is what i meant to say uh money's looking really good so i'm gonna put in some um of, i kind of want to put in these spears these 
bit more expensive spears, but they're really good. They take two turns to recruit. I only get one. Oh, can only afford one. How much does it cost? 500. Very well. And then I'll get some uh, pretty cheap crossbows, I think. And then that's going to be, like, all the money I spend uh, on that, well, on that army for now, I guess. I might transfer some of these troops across to Cordoba's army at some point. But though this, this uh, army down here, I could probably go take Granada pretty soon, I could imagine. We'll end the turn anyway, and we'll see what happens. Castile took Badajoz, as you can see here. So that's uh, kind of annoying because I'd rather the Portuguese take it because then I can take it myself because I'm planning to go to war with them next. I'm allied with Castile at the hip. Uh, and plan to be for quite a while yet. I'm going to betray probably... Well, I'm not even allied with Portugal, so it's not really a betrayal. I'm going to declare war on Portugal first, then I'll betray Aragorn. 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 It's not, we're not in Lord of the Rings. And, uh, and then uh, it'll be Castile that will be the final one to go. And then at that point, by the time I betray Castile, I'll be too powerful to care. He failed. Good. Good man. Uh, that was just some Toulousian pretenders. They've uh, broken free. Okay. Oh, placeholder. Okay. That shows like how uh, not how incomplete, but like what they need to do to improve uh, the campaign still. Just like have placeholder. It's like, what's a placeholder? Uh, don't talk about it. Uh, Leprosium. There we go. We can now build that. That can help with um, sanitation. And I presume that will probably help with growth, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like sanitation should help with growth a bit. Because, like, you've got a cleaner population. So that means there's less disease. Even if it's not, like, notifying you about the disease. It's like there's less disease. So there'll be um, more people being born. I don't know. It might just be a hidden thing that they add in. Who knows? Um, garrison here. Yeah, still pretty piddly. Uh, and once they're recruited, I guess I could bring this army down. Malvence is actually... Uh, quite happy on its own. It doesn't actually need me here. Uh, even with the disease, it's like, yeah, we're okay. Um, so that's fine with me. I'll move this army south and it can come and help with the Siege of Granada. Looks like Castile's just going to leave Badajoz on its own, even though they've just taken it. Avora's got some pretty good resources, as well as as uh, I think that's bronze, and then Lisbon's got marble, I believe that is. So that's some good resource that we can use to trade. They will be very useful indeed. Badahol failed to do something. Toulousian pretenders are gone. Excellent. This army can now come south. It's now got its medium spears. It's actually better than any other spear unit I've got, which is excellent. Uh, Cordoba, I'd like to have... Hmm, Spirit Maker as well. It is very good. Is there anything better? There's a tavern. Allows us to get spies and assassins. I think I'd rather save up for that. 4,500. I know that the uh, Spirit Maker is doing us a lot of money, uh, like bonuses. But at the moment, I could do with having a tavern to just get more spies. So I don't have to then send my armies to do this. They can go and pay attention to see what is going on. Uh... And I'm going to just encamp this side of the river for this army. This one's going to go into Cordoba for now. Pacify it. And then, uh, yeah, that's. I think that's kind of all we're going to do this turn. See, Valencia is quite happy on its own. It doesn't need me here. Uh, it's actually growing quite nicely with the town barracks. And we've got a church here going quite nicely. So, yeah, this one's quite happy. I'm going to leave it on its own doing its thing. Pamplona just loves us. Um... Don't think we'll ever have to really touch that again. Undersigned skill for Luis. Brilliant. Uh, he can have construction time for like his growing province. Hostile agent chance. And then you can have a uh, commander. And you can go down this one as well. Cunning. There you go. Helps out. There. Cordova. Brilliant. Brilliant. I think I did just trespass onto like Seville's territory. But I couldn't really care. Oh, don't you dare. I think he's just killed the king. He's just killed my king, hasn't he? Can I fall back? Yeah, I'm going to retreat. Oh, he's killed my king. That's really annoying. He's either killed it. Helmet had still have huge stacks. This is very frustrating.
Oh, that's really annoying. I hope he's not dead. I hope he's just like wounded or something like that. I surely can't kill my king. Because that puts a child on the throne, which we cannot really have. Theobald the Conqueror, as someone called in one of the uh, we consider it wise to see in one of the uh, comments, it will be dead, and he's been conquering so much. He's taken on from his father. Duty calls. Uh, warrior patron. Warrior. Um, go with. We'll have Nuno. Nuno can do. Can take we on critical success. He's not dead. He is. No, Theobald's been murdered. What a. He has an another ch another son. He's popped out another son before that happened. So we have a regency. We have a uh, this lovely lady on the throne. Uh, can we have? Let's uh, marry her off to this general because he's doing quite well in the world of uh, well glory and stuff. At your um, that is annoying. That is very annoying. Uh, I still want to save up for the tavern, so that'll be next turn. Even though we can get a lot of stuff in Valencia. So we have a regency. So we have had a crisis. A Navarre, a Navarre crisis, you could say, Today's almost. Greetings to you. Um, Pisa. On behalf of our people, welcome. Hmm, okay. I welcome you on behalf of the people. And... Can I trade with... Like, in the name of the state. Uh, I, I, yeah, I can't trade anyway until I've like cleared out this land border here. I believe so. I can then get like a port and then get all the way around. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, Granada may have to... Wait, I could go for Seville. They're actually starving here in Seville. Could make peace with the Almohads, then go to war with Granada. Be welcome. Didn't think they'd take yes. If they said yes, then I'd be very surprised. Um, but I will stay this side of the war... Of, of the... Uh, my land now. I could start recruiting more stuff. I actually can't recruit anything here. Not until uh, next turn when we can recruit some stuff. I don't know how much of it I really want. Uh, end the turn. Well, that's brilliant. You can then go there. You can then do tax rate. And there you go. So we are in a little bit of a pickle on the old inheritance, but our son should eventually come of age and what he can uh, do. So Almohads have now set south. They're just trying to murder each other. Look at this spy like stuff going on here. So frustrated. I'm gonna try and march and destroy this army in the in its encampment here. And then or siege. Siege Granada. I'm not really sure. I wanna try and sneak around and try and take it by sea. And then dupe these guys out. Doing that will be quite hard. But it might be worth it, worth the risk. Noble marriage. I don't know what's this done. Oh yeah, she's taking it out of my family. Oh, that's actually not probably the smartest of ideas then. Oh well. Um, you do what you have to do. Um, so I no longer have that. Uh, my, her is my regent. I don't know where like that now puts my regency, but I have my heir. I don't have a faction leader currently. Who is actually? Yeah, let's look at my. Uh, Diplomacy. So I now have Leonor. I guess. Oh yeah. So it is still this like woman. She's just married off to someone. As my. Uh, as my region. That's quite funny. Uh, so how old is. Uh, this boy now. He's three. So I guess he ages like every turn at the moment. So that's not too bad. Um, he can then replace. One of my uh, generals. As, uh, as a commander. Kind of want to. Like I said. I want to try and sneak this guy around. So I'm going to move. All the way around here. I'm going to then try and go for Granada by sea. First, I'll try and recruit a bunch of stuff here. Because we have the money. We can afford to do so. Um, actually, first, Cordoba. I was going to build a tavern. Then, we'll build with... Well, it'll be one thing. Uh, I could get some... I can't even get... I could get better cavalry. Some Sarant Bruder. Some medium shot cavalry. Um, I might be better just waiting. I don't know. Yeah, let's get some Saren Bruder. Two turns. Maybe. Uh, you couldn't move any further anyway. Yeah, let's get some Saren Bruder going. It's a good life. I mean, I could... Yeah, that's okay. And then we've got even more Cav, and then we can overwhelm these guys. Yeah, let's end the turn. Let's just end the turn. Almohad's uh, sending their spies everywhere. And he's coming all the way around here. God damn it. This spy is annoying. If he kills this general. 
I don't think he killed that general. Whether he took a unit from it, I will be even more annoyed. Because that's... Just annoying. Granada's now actually got no defense. So we could siege it with the other army. Might not be the worst thing in the world. If he's killed a unit, I'll be very annoyed. Because they were all elite units. And this is what I hate about agents in uh, Attila compared to like Rome 2. So much more strong. Like what? Like assaulting a unit in Rome 2 just does damage to the unit. And I think that's fine. But in this, it destroys... He's killed the general again. Nuno has died. Um, well, that's annoying. Just keep killing my generals then. I guess. Um, intervene. There you go. Uh, and then I could siege it. I might just leave them thinking that I'm not paying attention. See if the AI falls for it. I'm going to build we maybe some more. Better. Is there any cheap stuff I can build that's going to be done in one turn? Not really. There's light cavalry, but I don't really want light cavalry. I don't need these archers either. I need to go back to that like Valencia or Cordoba where they can like recruit stuff in one turn. Like, those cheap spears are actually quite good. These guys are decent. Got very poor armor, but they're actually pretty good. They'll take a lot of men down with them. Uh, I could do with them, or maybe like some better like spears or something like that. They're not spears, they're swords, sorry. Yeah, like the, the swords here. Uh, the castle uh, it says there at the bottom. Uh, Oin, Oinzneko Kapari? I could do with some of them, I think. Either one, really. Probably better in Valencia right now, because it's nearer to my front line. Uh, but yeah, that would be certain, certainly something I would like to get. Maybe something like worth getting when trade sorts itself out. If this guy kills another general, I'll be so pissed. So pissed. Because literally, that's like, all he's doing to slow down my advance right now. Just kill the general. It'll be fine. Uh, we definitely can't stop them. After I've taken Granada, I'm making peace with the armor heads. I can't deal with their agents, man. They are so annoying. Killing my king. Theobald the Conqueror. F in the chat for Theobald the Conqueror, please. We will we will uh, pray, a, I don't know, a hundred times, maybe a thousand times for his soul. He's done it again. He's done it again. Uh, I don't know if this one was... Um, do I even bother putting in good people? I guess I'll put LeBritain. Yeah. He just keeps murdering people. Well, you're going to move south now. So it doesn't matter. We have those. We have my cab. Stop killing my my, my generals. And then march up here. And you can come and aid. Aid your general. We've lost all our elite generals. Oh no, this guy's my uh, other elite general. Who's doing quite well at the moment. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can take it by sea. But that's fine. They've got no uh, armies here. They've got an army here of Granada. The other one is a little way away. I don't know how if it can really get to help in time. This one might not be able to actually either. We'll see. Um, Cordova, obviously not happy at the moment, but that should sort itself out. We have two grand. I can nearly do stuff. I kind of want to put in military order, maybe... Uh, Catholic Priory wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Source of sanitation, food, population growth. Maybe. Um, or I could go down here. Militia quarters. Let's sort out public order. I'd rather have like a... Uh, I, I mean, this one does a lot of damage. That one's better actually. Like tax rate down 3%. I presume that's everywhere. This one just does a bit maintenance cost. Minus 400 actually maintenance cost. I don't... That's probably a bigger chunk. Of damage than uh, the tax rate, I think. We'll end the turn anyway. End the turn. We're building... Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Just kill me again, hey. Ah, oh, you missed, you fool. And they didn't bring an army over. So you're going to just let me take Granada. What fools. All they can use is their agents. Their armies are useless, apparently. Maybe, well, they probably actually are more effective. He's killed my king, which no army could manage to do yet. Um, so I guess, in theory, yes, his agents are more effective. Seville, you're next, by the way. You are next. Granada, I should say. That is actually the Emirate of Granada. And they hold Seville. They don't hold Granada. Um, but yeah, you are next. 
Portugal's not far after. Yeah, you fool. You failed. Uh, and now we take your city. And we have pushed the Muslims, or the Almohad Caliphate, I should say. Not all the Muslims. We have pushed the Almohad Caliphate out of Spain. And we occupy it. At your command. And there we go. I'm going to send this guy back to Cordoba. Don't want him get... Don't want to get, like, too many generals murdered. Um, what have we got here? Let's go with commander's unit for morale. Armor for you. Uh, and then personal influence, I guess. And then you can have authority and you can have zeal. There you go. And we hold this city. And um, we don't really need to... These. I don't really want a blacksmith either. I'll. Don't really want a shipyard either. Uh, go herd. I'll take. Castle. That's gonna cost nine hundred to repair. It's gonna cost a lot to replace as well. Actually, eleven thousand. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna repair it and see if I can then re uh, replace it. That might be the best way of doing it. What have you got? No. I could give you personal influence. I'm going to give you commander's unit like that. Cunning. Actually, no. I don't want to give you that at all. I'm going to give you recruitment. And I want to give you campaign. There we go. Campaign movement. There we go. And then we've got three grand left to spend. I might save it up. See if we can uh, repair this castle. So we can then get some decent stuff on the go. Because if I can get this on the go, we can then get, some, like I said, some good swords. Which I don't then have to make like holy order sword units. I just go with my own swords. And they'll be cheaper. They'll be so much cheaper. So we're going to end the turn. Oh no, we need a provincial governor apparently. Because uh, we need a provincial governor everywhere we go. Okay, have an entrepreneur in Granada. And then Granada can have growth and wealth as well. Because I have an army here. All these other provinces are fairly happy. Now Mercia and Valencia are loving life. As is Palmer actually. So we'll end the turn. And there you go. Our Imperium has come up so we can have more armies. And uh, I don't really need more armies at the moment though. I'm kind of fine. Oh, I didn't make try and make peace with these guys. I'll see if the Almahads, Almahads want peace. Uh, they may come and try and attack me. If that's the case. Look at this guy. He's just causing dissent in my lands. Uh, and they take their agents back. Oh, they go and try and kill the other agent. No, I won't join your war with Provence. I made peace with Provence. They are now... I don't know, neutral to us. I don't know what... I presume that's sugar that Granada has. I wouldn't have thought we'd get sugar until we go to the New World. But uh, maybe that's for, like, late campaign, because I guess by late campaign, they'd be, they are definitely looking towards the... Uh, um, towards the New World a bit, I guess. Because late campaign, I guess, is maybe, like, 1300s, maybe a bit later. I'm not really sure. Can this guy stop... Do, did he... What did he just try to do? Preach intolerance. Okay. And then there's been consumption issues in Palma. Let's see if we can make peace with the Almohads. In time. Low. Okay. Okay. They they hate us that much. Apparently we're improving though. Even though... So I may have to keep an army garrison in Granada. But I am not coming down to fight you. That I can assure you. I'm going to save up for... I don't really... No, I don't want that at all. I want to get a castle. And I want... That's going to take 900. Okay. I'm going to save up for it. Um, so that's probably going to be the last thing I'm going to do this episode. Probably save up for that castle. And try and make peace with... Um, I'm going to go for this marine ins uh, insurance here. Population growth. Uh, maritime commerce. And yeah, we can then build some more stuff. Indian Ocean Traders Quarter. Large port. P fishing port. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just that's what I'm going to save up for and probably it's going to be like what I'm going to do at the end of this episode. Uh, it probably shouldn't take too many turns, maybe two more turns. Um, so Ordorno, we're going to give you your governor. Okay. You can have tax and you can have happiness there. There you go. Our food is also skyrocketing, 211. But I mean, that's not actually a lot really in Attila. If you put one very expensive building like a castle for instance with the, that costs a lot of uh, food in some mix you're probably bringing that down about a third if not a bit more i just hope the almohads just give up maybe i'd need to destroy one of their big armies again and they'll finally give in who knows
There was a new faction there. I didn't even see what that was. I think it might have been Trier Pretenders. Uh, critical success, encouraged descent, consumption outbreak. Oh, where was that happening? Uh, oh, we've had a conversion. Seville is converted. Oh, he's, conv he's now... Seville's converted to... Oh, no. Is this being in Catholic faith and spreading neighboring lands? Uh, oh, right. So uh, there's now Catholic uh, Christianity faction-wide. Seville. I... They didn't honestly go... No, they didn't. I was going to say, I don't think Seville actually went Catholic. Maybe the, there's Catholic conversion going on in the city. Let's see. I don't know. I can't tell. Not really sure what that was. Uh, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, yeah, we... Oh, yeah, and Valencia's now got consumption. Well, I'll sort out your uh, sanitation issues in time. I actually need to do... What's that? I need to go down there to get the second... I need to get physicians. So I need to do Catholic monastery. Okay. Well, we'll do that next, then. We're at 2,000 a turn, though. That's really nice. Um, I could get Ecclesiastical Domain, but I don't really want that. Like I said, I want to get a castle. A castle. So, uh, Luis, you need some more stuff. You can have tax. And, Governor, I um, don't really want you having... You can have that. You can have a patron. Help with the money again. End the turn, and, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. I... Oh, I should have seen this, whether I could make peace with the Almohads. They're sending their goddamn agent back across somewhere. And Toulouse has beaten its pretenders again, so that's always a good sign. They could do with uh, having a bit of stability in Toulouse. I don't know whether they could actually lose that now, because they'll have their army stuck around it, and they've got a garrison. don't think the AI has enough. I think England lost its armies in France as well. That's the point. Shall we just check at the end of this turn? Let's have a look and see what's going on in the world. Or the known world, we'll see. Because I don't often look at what's going on in the known world. Um, Cordova's success. Faction destroyed. County Provence are gone. County Provence? Gone? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow. Aragon's gone straight up here and just wiped them out. Oh, we're going to have to go into France. If we want to beat Aragon. Potentially. I am here. We have 10 grand. England still holds all of England. And holds Aquitaine. Uh, still is at war with Wales. I don't know what, exactly where Welsh armies are positioned in the world. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, okay. Carnarvon's under siege. Okay. Oh, yeah. Carnarvon could fall anytime soon. Uh, and then there's just this Welsh army here. That's been doing stuff. I don't know whether Bristol's been sacked at some point. Because it looks like Colchester's been sacked at some point because its wall strength's low. Whether that was the French or um, the Welsh, I don't know. But it looks like that's been sacked. Um, Bordeaux looks like it's been pretty well secured. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But uh, I know for certain that I'm going to be building this castle. There you go. And here, I'm going to put in... I've still got two grand. And then I'm going to put in a Leprosium, I think. I can't convert any of these. I actually don't need that. Why am I not destroying that again? I'm going to turn this goat herd into probably a cattle herd. Sort that out. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Granada is never falling now. It has a really, we'll have a really solid garrison in a bit. We'll have uh, some decent cavalry. We'll have some decent spears. Um, a lot of crossbows. We'll even have slingers. I love some Bastion Capult. So that'll be pretty solid. And that will hold my southern border for a long, long time. Mercy is actually booming. Look at that. A thousand a turn it's making at the moment. Um, Pamplona is yeah, making more than Pamplona at the moment. That's really good to see. Uh, can't complain about that at all. And uh, what else? Could we build anything here? Can't build any recruits. Could build some stuff here, though. Maybe some archers. Yeah, let's get some archers. Why not? Could get some more, but... Let's get some uh, missile cab, I guess. Build these armies up a little bit for the war with uh, Seville, because I'm sure that's going to take a bit more. It's going to be hard to fight uh, Portugal, because their quality of troops is actually a lot lower. It's not like Seville, or not Seville, Granada and Almohads. They have just terrible armies. I really think I am actually going to have to beat one of their armies back before, you say before they make peace with me. That's the best way. I mean, or I could take Fez. I could cross the board, like, the here, 
take Fez and then force them into peace. That might be a way to do. Let me know in the uh, comments whether you think I should go south, take Fez. I know I'm just planning to reconquer Spain, but to make peace with the Almohads, I may need to take another region. It's either going to be Fez or it could be Algiers. We could make a strike for Algiers. Like I could go across here. I could then land, or not even land. I could just attack it from sea. And this garrison, I imagine, well, it's impressive, but I mean, I, we've already seen that like Almohad troops is just nothing in like quality to uh nothing the same quality as like my troops here, and especially since they all have so many chevrons uh by like these two at the end uh but yeah no let me know obviously we could then go for algiers we could then possibly take fez as well i don't want to like come down and take all of north africa i do want to because i am also at war with the hasvids which make gives me a point can i make peace oh no i actually have peace with them and the marinids are at war with um these guys and take one. Okay. That's interesting. I don't think I could do anything with anyone else. Let's see. Bologna, do you want anything? In our good name, be welcome. Yeah, we'll take non-aggression with you, Bologna. That's fine. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm uh, thinking anyway for the next, like, episode. Do I come down here, take Algiers? Let me know in the comments. Or do you think I just try and make peace or just leave a garrison here and then just start focusing on, like, moving up, take Seville, then going up towards, like, Braga and... Uh, Lisbon and Evora. Obviously, I don't know if I'll take, like, Braga, for instance. Oh, it's not actually looking great, Braga, money-wise. Why is that? Not a clue. Garrison is tiny, though. Uh, but I guess, like, that's just how it is with um, Christian garrisons. I don't know. My garrisons are pretty big. That was just an, that might be an exception because it's got a, uh, a uh, like, a trading... Yeah, actually, yeah, just Christian garrisons are so much smaller because they're so much better. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you want to, what you think I should do in the next part. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. If you have, do remember to leave a like, subscribe for new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I do apologize that there has not been a battle in this one. Hopefully in the next episode we can get ourselves a battle. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye for now.